We here at HDFC Bank's media roundtable, where the primary topic of discussion was the bank's home loan business, especially post merger. Joining us for a conversation is Mr. Arvind Kapil, the country head of mortgage banking at the bank. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. My first question to you is about a new product, rather a new offering that you've talked about, the home refurbishment loans. So I want to start by understanding because the erstwhile HDFC entity did have that product. So what exactly new is happening? Here. Yeah, thanks. I think what we are trying to do is in the seven, eight months that we've kind of post the merger scenario, on every item we are adding the strengths of uh, HDFC Bank that we had and combining that with HDFC limited strengths. So we find that bank had very faster processing times. So we're bringing that to the home loan for the customer. Parallelly, we are trying to take advantage of the fact that we had service centers in HDFC Limited, which was very smartly uh, would encourage customers to come there for the final disbursement check so that we could have a transparent dealing with the customer and create a customer delight. Adding these two strengths, we felt that already the home refurbishment that was happening, I think we plan to make it a straight through processing. So what we've done is not only on home refurbishment, even on regular housing, we have worked on the processing time for the customers and got the sanctions times reduced to one third of what they were earlier. So if you see the total advantage, it's on the housing as well as the home refurbishment as well as the cross sell. So the whole idea is can we convert a single product uh, into a mortgage banking and create a one point contract for the customer where our relationship of mortgage banking can talk to the customers and various digital journeys available today so whether it's the consumer durable, whether it's a credit card, whether it's a home refurbishment, in all aspects, we can give that convenience to the customer. And the customer has an option to decide. So it's primarily the processing that is changing here. It's instead. much faster. It's probably two to three times faster is our effort. And that's what we've so far achieved. And we'll constantly try and make it as straight through as possible. Okay, so it's not just this product, but you also have another product as we sp all spoke about a while back here. And both the products are expected to be CASA positive as well. Yes. So can you quantify that? Because primarily CASA takes a little time to grow. Like when can we expect that showing up in the books? I think the good part is that we had around 30, 35% of the total disbursements that HDFC Limited and the bank was doing before the merger having a savings account and EMI rooted from it. That by December, post-merger, uh, this last December, we've reached close to around 80%, mm. which means eight out of every 10 customers have a primary banking relationship with us. Mm. And I think that's an area which gives you a lot of strengths. A, it gives comforts to the bank that his primary transactions are happening from the bank. Mm. His EMI gets rooted. He starts keeping more balances with the bank. And also, you have greater visibility to assess the customer, give him other advantages of entire bouquet of products that the bank has. So we have digital journeys created for all the retail asset products and the CASA. So the, basically, the advantage comes out of the fact that housing, which used to pre-merger generate a great book on housing, can we convert that into a liability-generating book as well as other asset generating books without an increase in operating cost. So that becomes probably a game changer with times to come. So at an MTD level, probably at a monthly level, we're already seeing very strong early signs. I think with an annualized growth, we'll see that as a major strength coming in. But you can't quantify it for us for now. I think it's fairly robust and we're excited about it. Should probably give you a sense that it should be a game changer for the bank in my limited view. Okay, thanks for that clarity. So I'm going to pick a number here that we all spoke about a while back. Uh, the market share of the bank has grown by 18 to 20 percent on an incremental basis post merger. That's the number that I'm referring to right now. So how do you plan to sustain this going forward? Because it's an extremely competitive market at this point, and especially if you look at this quarter, there have been considerable pain points as well for banks. I think on an incremental business, we are noticing trends that uh, all uh, sequentially, we seem to be growing at a much faster rate. Uh, if I look at uh, the December quarter, sequential growth seems to be clocking in much higher than probably the peers on the largest public sector or private sector banks. Uh, banks very clear that we want to stand by the quality of asset that we take, but we do believe the big could get bigger 
in the environment we are in. And we can see those early signs. So I think we have a large distribution. A branch could play a key role. Our processing time becomes a cutting edge in the industry mm -hmm. with the strengths that we've had over years. And like I said, coupled with HDFC's strengths and a huge amount of talented people uh, that are very, very highly skilled at mortgages, I think banks probably sitting on a very uh, good poise from here on on a monthly level and analyzed. Yeah. All right. And how will this renewed focus, if renewed is the right word here, focus going to impact your margins? I think we housing, uh, with the kind of balance sheet size uh, the bank has, mm -hmm. I think housing, I believe, could be the most stickier product uh, in terms of the longest duration. And I think it will, like I mentioned, it will be hugely asset generative and liability generative. Okay. So growing housing will create more primary banker customers for us. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be CASA boosting. Mm -hmm. It will also be other asset boosting. So it will be revenue boosting. Mm -hmm. We'll also be selling uh, these customers uh, options of wealth advisory products, HDFC Skies that we had, mm -hmm. and uh, encourage customers to use the large bouquet of products that we have. Mm -hmm. So we are hoping that this could be a big enabler mm -hmm. for growth from here on, especially the size we have. Because if you look at bank, mm -hmm. bank has a balance sheet size which probably is one of its kind. It's been the largest right. merger. The right. merger is on a very solid wicket, and it's almost 30% of the book. So it's we are excited from here on. So growth, okay, uh, margins can improve going here on? I think ROAs, uh, in my limited view, should be positive as quarter on quarter. Okay. And uh, with the cross-sell and the fee income that we're talking, mm. and we are optimistic there. Okay. Any numbers on the ROA? No, we don't give guidance as a bank. You're aware of that. So I think we'll stick to the fact that we're excited and we're looking at it positively. And I think it's the right way to do business. That's important. Thanks so much for joining us for this Thank conversation, sir.